Hello and welcome to Baker so, so in this video I'm sharing my view on the first eight items for Airsoft games. So I'm trying to take a balance between cosplay and the practical use of some of the first eight items. So the most common bleeding injuries that I've seen in Airsoft fields is getting hit by BBs and you get some kind of bleeding. And then uh, some kind of scratch and more severe bleeding may came from falling off a hill or just simply just fall down on, on the ground. And the third one is having a muscle cramp. So based on these three common injuries that I've seen, I put together some of the basic first aid stuff and also I prepared some first aid items for a more severe level of injuries that may happen in airsoft but not often. And I also talk about three first aid pouches that I have used in airsoft games. So for basic injuries, I have the first aid items on the first row here and here is the alcohol pack and for cleaning the wounds, I also have the saline. This is basically salt water. And then I got some band-aids and the square one here is mainly for BB hits and this is for slightly larger or longer scratch and then I got an elastic bandage for securing the band-aids in place and then here's some of, of the eye drop I used to wear contacts so sometimes my eyes get dry and I use the eye droplet and this is the muscle spray that I use for you know in case somebody has a cramping and this muscle spray I usually put it at the back of my play carrier on my GP pouch so let's put this away first so for the basic items I usually put it in my blue box here blue blue pouch and this pouch is very simple it's very small and it's held by velcro you just flip it up and in the inside there's two elastic loop and a big space here so on the two elastic loop I put the salt water and the elastic bandage and for the rest of this stuff, I just kind of shove it in there. And then you close it up and just sit here nice and tight so it doesn't interfere with my right arm movement. So the basic first aid items I put in this boo pouch. I think like 95% of the injuries that you see on airsoft field can be done by this little pouch right here. And in here I have the blue box here micro trauma pouch. And they do have an official settings for like basic kit and full kit, but some of the stuff that I've taken out, I, I mean, it's not really practical for airsoft. So in here, I have put together some stuff that I have a high chance of using it in the airsoft field. So to start off, I have two more salt water bottles here. And I mean, since these like severe, more severe injuries, you may have a bigger wounds and require more cleaning solution. And on the side here, I would put a normal compressed gauze and a one-time use CPR ratio and you just strap them in like this and at the center one I have the combat gauze so this combat gauze contains an agent that can stop bleeding it's usually used for shooting gunshot wounds but for airsoft maybe somebody falls down to the hill and then a branch kind of like stuck it into his leg and then he somehow he pulls it out and cannot control the bleeding maybe you need to get used to this and this one is for opening up in airways but this one, you need proper training to use this. I personally don't have the training, but I still carry this. This is, this is light, and maybe somebody around me does have training and knowledge to use this, so I just carry this just in case. And then there are two pairs of latex gloves. So these three goes in here. So after you have all of them strapped nice and tight, you can fold this up, and you can insert it into this micro pouch here. So when I shove everything into this micro pouch here and to access or to get this stuff out you just have to pull either left or right side by these two tabs here and at the center in the older generation you get a red black and white card but in newer ones you will get a black and white and this red one I just cut off I mean I just use some kind of red tape to tape over the black ones to have the red cross logo I think the red one looks nicer and at the front of my play carrier, I have the scissors and the tourniquet. And the chance of me using this, I think it's very, very slim, but, but it just looks good to carry one around. And finally, it is the Mystery Ranch Outback. And before I got the two Proof of Skier pouch, I was actually carrying this. So to access this, you unbuckle the buckle. And you see here this little red tab. You pull this out, and you just pull the whole thing out like this. So in here you see I got lots of space, I can pretty much fit everything that I have over there in here with these three extra. So I have another compressed gloss here and I have this tape. The tape is pretty much for securing the bandage or the combat gloss position. 
and then I have a extra one time bandage here. So the outfit, when you open it up, you get a pocket space here, here, and get two loops here, two here, two here, and three horizontally. And this strap here loops around the tape nicely. And currently, I don't really carry this around. I mean, I don't have another set of iPad, but if I do get another set, maybe I'll put this in, I don't know, in backpack for whatever reason. So to put this back into the ready to pull out position, you just close this up. And there are two, and there are two straps going up and down to secure the whole pack in place. And you open up the outpack, the velcro at the back. You hold this up in place, and you zip up the two side. And this red tab, you put it in the center here. And you just buckle it up. So once again, it's the Blue Force Gear Boo Boo Pouch, the Blue Force Gear Micro Trauma Kit, and the Mystery Ranch Outpack. And this concludes the first eight items that I usually carry with me to airsoft games. And thank you for watching and stay safe and see you guys next time.